something close to approaching 30 years. And, um, you know, whatever you think of this man, you cannot deny his genius. And you cannot deny that Don King in boxing is what P.T. Barnum was to the circus. Um, he's not only the most famous person in this room, there is not a street in New York that he could walk down right now if he left this building without being recognized. Um, I'm happy that we've been friends for a number of years now. I like it a lot better that way. Um, but this guy's a cultural icon. I mean, literally. There are Don King characters in I don't know how many novels, and how many books, and how many plays, and how many movies, how many promoters have been, been um, modeled after this guy in, in, in various forms of media. Um, one of the most famous people on the face of the earth, one of the great promoters in the history of boxing, Don King. Thank you. <clears throat> I come with a message today. First of all, I want to thank all these young men that started here and fighting for the crown. And I want to thank uh, Stephen Espinosa at Showtime <clears throat> for presenting them to you. But he has something in store for him on Saturday night that's going to really be a shock. It's going to be the fight of the year. Unfortunately, you know, uh, I want to introduce to uh, Deontay, who I have a lot of love for, uh, remains the man. He's never really met it, you know. And so I want to introduce him to, you know, and talking to you, the American public and the world at large. It's going to be a fantastic evening of boxing at the Barclay Center. I call up my friend Chuck Dolan and Jim Dolan. I want them to be guests for me at the ringside. You know, hopefully they can make it. And uh, bear witness to what's coming on with the new with uh, Mr. Your Man here. That's his brother. My, his, not was, is my dear friend. So, but here's what's going to happen. You're going to have an upset similar to Donald Trump. When nobody in the world wanted him to be president, he shocked the world by becoming president against all odds. All right, so now what we're going to have here is a shocking upset. It's going to be for me when he knocks out my dear friend here, Deontay. Now, you know that when he does this, and I want to help him to take this into consideration, that um, Deontay will retire. <laughs> That's in this word. But I want to say right now, I want to put in my, my request. When you come out of retirement, come on to see me. <laughs> I'm telling you, he can talk, he's got the gear. His mother, I love his mother. And uh, and his, my mother was, both of them were born in Alabama. You know what I mean? So I'm an Alabamian too. And Alabama, what we should understand, and why I want him to be able to carry the mission to friend and for life. It's the only state in the union that has legalized white supremacy. They talk about all of the different objects that would divide people around the world, but at least Alabama was honest with it. You know what I mean? They legalized it. And I want him to be one of the men that knocks that barrier down because he's got the guts, he's got the wherewithal, and he's got the glib tongue, he's loquacious. He can express and identify and bring people together as he is doing right now with the Alabamians. So I'm looking forward to that with great excitement. Not only would it be great for Lou, because I think Lou is doing a tremendous job, but it'll be a rubber match. And that rubber match will be something similar to Ali and Freeman, Ali and, and making things happen right down the line, Ali and George Foreman. So it's going to be an exciting time for me to be here on Saturday, and I'm calling up everybody. And as history has put it and dictated it, we will have a wonderful November to remember. That's what we said when I was working and promoting Donald Trump on November to remember, and it will be remembered from, from here to eternity. You know, the same thing is going to happen here on Saturday at the Barclays Center, when we really crown that center that will have a, a shocking effect around the world, but it will be good because what Lou DeBella said was, if we were doing right, so it's going to be a blow for righteousness because no matter what it costs, whatever it happens, we stand for the right, so the fighters should be clean, they should be able to deal with each other for the safety of the population. 
My friend Suleiman is smiling right now. That's the father, not the son. And you're looking down on me right now because he's the one that staged this thing for uh, Deontay. He set that up and we kept his word. And he kept his word with me. So now he just sent me the message. So I want y'all to all know this, Tom Howard, and I want you to put it down. You know what I mean? He sent the message that this is going to be a great thing and all the angels in heaven to be watching. You know what I mean? When the upset comes and he retires, but he keeps his word, there's nothing more precious in life than your word. Your money comes, your money goes. You know what I mean? But your word follows you forever. And so what I know that when he retires, but I just want to put in my thing right now before anybody else stops. When he come out of retirement, you're going to be a Muhammad Ali. You know what I mean? So he had to lose too, you know, in order to get that. So you ain't never lost, and you really can't be an Ali. You know? When you lose them on Saturday night, you can be an Ali. You know what I mean? You know, so it's going to be a fantastic evening of boxing and we're going to do. And we're going to make it happen. I'm saying hello to my friend, uh, De Blasio, the mayor of this great city. And uh, he's going to be out there looking at this fight, trying to find ways and means to justify his re-election. And we are looking forward to that one very excited, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, I want to say that uh, I am, I'm honored. I'm very honored to be working with Lou. And I think that, uh, uh, you know, it's something that is there that is honesty and steadfastness. It's exciting to be able to be with the voters of the Statue of the Steam and the Harvard man, too. It's, uh, it's, 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 it's just it's marvelous. And I feel good about it, you know what I mean? So, Jose Suleiman, we're going to be right there for you on that. And, to say by his son, I love this son, he's like my son. He calls me Papa and I call him son. That is, is the young man that is just up here, uh, that is carrying the torch in, in Viva Mexico, you know what I mean? Like he even got the Mexico flag right here, and we got the WBC flag, you know, Viva Mexico, Viva Mexico, you know? So the, uh, so the president of uh, the president of Mexico is the dear friend of mine, Enrique Nino Pieto, and his lovely wife, Angela. And so what we're going to do is going to have a great celebration. We've got, you uh, know, Andrea Condor. What's your name? What's your name? Come on, man. Tell me what it is. <laughs> yeah. Andrea and Granada, this is really great. So we're gonna, he's going to be carrying, he's going to be carrying the message deck back to Mexico to my homeland, me casa su casa. You know, it's going to be really great. So I'm looking forward to all of the excitement that's going to be here. And I wanted to be first to introduce the real Burmese to uh, uh, Deontay Wilder, because we haven't met that man. Last time we seen the guy similar like that, you know, they say we all look alike, so it's all you know. <laughs> and he didn't really meet the real guy, he had an imposter there, you know what I mean? <laughs> so now you're gonna meet the real man on Saturday night, and I'm excited as I can be about it. And, uh, and I, I, I wanna talk to uh, Steve, we're gonna make plans for the rubber match. You know, lay it down the road because you may go to m and or whatever he said, because whatever he said, that's what he means. You know what I mean? So whatever he decides to do, but I know one thing he has to do is not to forget the dirt road. Don't forget from which he comes. Don't understand what our problem and our struggle is, and he's right there where at least he's honest, where you can confront him. Eyeball to eyeball, step to step, legal white supremacy, you know what I mean? Puts us where he is nothing. The white woman, people of color, and nothing, you know, and it's written down in law, you know what I mean? So there ain't no way you can be no mistaken or playing no mistakes about it, you know what I mean? It's in law, and the poor whites, the whole, the masses. So now that we have it, you can fight it because you can name it and you can identify it. And so what we can do now with this man here is going to be a powerful force in bringing back uh, the Alabama to what it should be, could be, and will be when we find freedom, justice, equality, you know what I mean? Working together works. You know? <laughs> So I'm excited. You know, so now I want to tell you, I want to introduce this young man that is here. He's a great, great fighter. And he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a man that just, just thrills me. Let me get out. Yes, I do. There it is. We've been having trouble all down there off, the, off, the, off America, the islands, you know what I mean? And having different things that happen. And so the president there wants me to make certain that the uh, remains when he wins to come and visit and go back home and help them kids, the young people that can come in and be a role model, you know what I mean? To be able to say, you get knocked down, you get back up. You know, you never, never, never quit. You don't give in, you know what I mean? You're in it to win it. You know what I mean? You don't give up, you don't quit, and you're going out there and victory will be yours. So we want to go back and establish that type of feeling in, 
and hate and hate it. And we want to be able to establish a freedom that, you know, never say die attitude. You know, we totally eradicate the word failure out the vocabulary. Set back every now and then. Failure, never. You know what I mean? So we got to be able to deal with that. So I'm going to bring you the new heavyweight champion of the world. And it makes me feel good that I can deal with Chico Finkel sitting there, my dear friend Shelly Finkel. And I want, him, I want this man to come on up here, Bahrain. And, 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 and well, I'm going to do something else, too. Now, we did it for Sylvie. <laughs> Yesterday was his birthday. So before we talk, I want us to say happy birthday to him because he's the new champion of the world. Happy birthday for me. So let's have, give me a good tune here. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, new champion. Good to be here. Um, I'd like to thank uh, God uh, for uh, allowing me to see an uh, extra year, additional year to my life. Uh, I'm very grateful for that. I um, also want to thank uh, the Barclays Center, Mr. Norton, um, Mr. King, my promoter. Also, my um, my team, my manager Jay Prince, uh, John Dubin, uh, everybody else in the team, uh, Sandman Chuck, Dayron, House, and uh, my father is somewhere. Yeah. So. If, if, if that's what it takes, I'm going to take that title, that's what I'm going to do. Come on. 
and I'm going to walk away with a smile on my face. How you look at me, man? Let's do what? I ain't going to do nothing. Don't worry about it. All of that is for Saturday night. <laughs> Boy, he don't know. You caught me slipping the last time. Come on, Ain't nobody gonna slip. I'm gonna be on your ass. I'm gonna be on your ass, boy. I'm gonna be on your ass. Put all that front. Y'all better go back there, because y'all don't want none, none, none of that shit. Y'all don't want none of that shit.